going for, for animal. Okay, we got something here. Yeah, we have something there that we were rather close to. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, I don't know what kind of den that is, uh, but that's big. You could get a bear. <laughs> could be a bear den or a mountain lion den. They could be in there right now. Yeah, I totally, totally forgot about the mountain lions, dude. Chris and I are back on the road again, or rather off the road and into the wilderness. Obsessed with outdoor exploration and survival training, we're always on the lookout for new adventures where we can learn new survival and bushcraft skills. This time, we're heading deep into Prescott National Forest in Arizona for a wilderness training day trip. Unlike most survival shows, Can We Survive is about discovering and learning bushcraft skills, not showing you how to be an expert yourself. We're just average Joes who love the outdoors and want to get better at survival. So we've decided to film our adventures as we struggle and persevere to survive in the wilderness. Hello everyone, welcome back to Can We Survive? It's a new season that we're yeah. back out here. This is going to be pretty amazing. Thank you so much, uh, patrons uh, from Patreon. We owe you so much. You're the reason why we're here again, and we're both super stoked. I mean, we're not even doing what we're supposed to be doing yet in this episode, yeah. and we're super stoked. I mean, just filming, getting out here, and, and, and trying to create something to entertain people again, It's we're super happy about yeah, it. So it's good stuff, you guys. So just a quick overview what where we're at. We're in the middle of nowhere. We're in a, <laughs> we're in a desert forest. There's a lot of rock. There's some cactus and stuff. We're about 6,400 feet right now, and it's uh, 32 degrees F yeah. right now. Uh, it's cold. <laughs> uh, we actually had, the, I was wearing gloves earlier. Meaty yeah. had his uh, beanie Ooh, on, yeah. or the toque if you're Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you want, uh, we're going to actually show you what we've got here, but we started, the main trail is up that way. We came down here, and it, it ends at the bottom here, but we didn't want to drive all the way down there, so we stopped here. We're going to offload. We're going to get all of our gear we're gonna head down there and then we're gonna start going in looking for a site. And this episode is dedicated to us learning to build and what we want in a campsite. So, because we're gonna do an overnighter at some point very, very soon, and we don't wanna go there and learn how to do that at that point. So we're gonna try and find, you know, not the first location, but we're gonna look for some locations. And when we find the one that we think will work for us, that's where we're gonna build our camp. So I hope you guys enjoy it camp time building a lean-to I think are we gonna try anything else we're gonna try we're, as we're much see. as we can yeah. anyway yeah. we're gonna anyway. look at the resources that we find locally around here and see what we can do with it yeah all right so let's take a look and see what we've got here because we've got to carry everything including all the camera because we don't have a camera crew it's just <laughs> us so let's take a look I've got this uh, the Canon 5d mark 3 uh, and this beast of a camera is used primarily for thumbnails and stuff like that because you know, when you're in filmmaking, that's important, making the proper thumbnail. So this, and capturing moments. I love filming nature and everything like that, so. Nature! Nature! So we got the first one there. Ugh. We got our gloves, batteries, extra batteries, so. Battery! We gotta have that in there. Um, and then, of course, this, this camera here is actually for vlogging exclusively. It's the behind the scenes stuff for our Patreon supporters. So this is part of the, you know, they're the reason why we're doing this. They're the reason why we're able to do this. So part of their, you know, the, uh, what is it? The bonuses or? Yeah, bonus reward is behind reward. the scenes so exclusive footage. We show what we do and we've already got quite a bit of this stuff. So that's what this is. And if you want to get involved with that, link is in the description as well. You, you know, feel free. If you can't, no worries. Just enjoy the show, enjoy the videos, because that's what these are things are all about here. So, Meaty, you want to show what you've got in there? Yes, sir. All right, so start with this. I made a promise to Pam, Guns' wife, that I'd keep him safe. <laughs> so, we're going to do this. This is a suppressed. 300 blackout just in case mountain lions or something come come a calling yeah and, and we do have a lot of mountain lions here black bear mountain lions yeah. coyotes wolves so nice short 300 blackout suppressed 
red dot sight, good to go. I got my backpack here, a little bit of gear in it for uh, trekking around. Yeah, it's a good day pack, you know? It, this is, this is like a day pack, little adventure pack. Got first aid and stuff in there, but again, we'll go over that stuff mm. when we get back and kind of show you. What we're trying to do is early on in our Can We Survive careers, we, you know, we got all gear happy and we loaded down packs and we found that we couldn't adventure. We had to basically get somewhere quick and bed down because our packs were so darn heavy. We wanted to take everything because we didn't know what was essential. So we're, we're taking all the way in reverse and we're trying to find what's essential to go as light as we can and still be sufficient enough to, you know, survive, be as comfortable as we can and have a lot of fun doing it, right? All right, let's get going. Let's get uh, heading down the path here. We're gonna be going down that path trying to find it, you know, when it dead ends and then just heading right into the forest. thing I had to take my sweater camera gear all this gear everything like that it is exhausting so we're kind of uh, getting near a crest of the hill here and we're seeing a lot of nice open spaces that we think might be a good camp spot you know somewhere high up vantage point so we've decided to leave our packs here so we don't exhaust ourselves, and we're gonna go and explore a little bit so we're just gonna start heading into this area here and hopefully we see something you know I'm also finding I'm getting terribly winded. <laughs> I think the it's the elevation, the, the, the pack, the elevation, everything. Like I'm just struggling for for breath, here. for dear life, for de dears. <laughs> well, let's just let's just go with you got the lounge pants covered though. Yeah. So we're good here. These aren't lounge pants. These are mountain hiking. Pants. I know. I just like calling them lounge pants. Oh. They fit your backside well. Oh, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Slopey though, eh? Yeah, it's really dropping down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really steep. Yeah, it is a... Uh, wow, it is quite a drop on that side. It's almost like we're on a mound, eh? Yeah. It's funny, the leaves and the pine needles make it real slippery on this slope. Yeah. You have to really watch your footing. Like guaranteed going down that way, there's a bit of slippage. There's a fair amount of, of deadfall and down trees for wood collection and then for stuff sure. like this. I mean, this would make really good oh, fire starter. super dry, yeah. Super dry. Well, that's that the beauty. Wind. It may be cold here, but everything is so dry because it's a desert. It's technically a desert environment, right? Yeah. You can see the leaves. You can see how dry everything is. Yeah. Which it's also makes for danger, and you got to be smart for fires. Like. Yeah, you need to clear away all the all the stuff on the ground, all the duff and all that the pine needles. Get it down to earth. Yeah. And if you're in one of those areas that has a lot of those root systems, you yeah. got to be real careful. You know, make it out of rock or something. Keep it away from all that. Yeah, for sure. So the wind's starting to pick up just a little bit. We gotta, what we're thinking is we gotta get off this ridge line. We've been walking a ridge line and we're gonna have to commit to going down into one of these valleys and try yeah. and make our way down slope. Well, it kind of looks like there's some flatter yeah. areas down there. A so. lot of deadfall. I, I mean, I like I like the area because it, you know, you're it's kind of like a break like this. So you can see, you know, let's say, it's not survival situation from animals or anything like that, but you're getting away from from society for whatever reason, you know, civil unrest. I like the idea. It's like in warfare, you want you want to be able to see both sides, right? Yeah. And it's great, but it's so slanted. Yeah. I don't I don't know. And the wind too, like it's not super windy, but on a windy on day, ridge, oh, it's ridge, just gonna it's blow really all over the place. You're talking about fire. You're talking about yeah. you know everything's just gonna get destroyed. So maybe down in the valley, so that's where we're gonna head right now. I think I see what looks like maybe a flatter area down, down there. Down where those two little valleys meet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, where this rocky down there. Yeah. It's kind of slippery on the ground. It's very slippery. Yeah, like I mean, it's, it's just reason tiny a little bit. You know what else I noticed? Huh. 
when we were coming down here is this. If you look at these, from a survival standpoint, these are acorns. Oh, yeah. They got seeds in them. Not just this, like in order to eat and stuff like that. But you know who loves acorns? Tree squirrels. Squirrels, which means for hunting reasons, this could be a really good location because there's oak leaves all over the place. We got acorns. If we had to eat them, tree squirrels. Oh, dude. Look at that. Hey, yeah, you, you talk about nature providing for a lean to. Oh, that could be the, the cross piece, huh? Yeah. Look at that, dude. That's perfect. You and I could sit in here. We got we got the sun here in the morning yeah. coming in, heating us up right away. Um it's a bit it's a bit to support that side. Like a Y branch or something on here. And then we could have a fire back here. Yeah. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear just some of these little tiny branches away from the front of this leaning tree here. So we can easily get up to it, thinking about putting stuff off the back of this, right? Yeah, yeah, to lean it down the back. And then here, put a fire so on the ground, we should. Oh, this oh yeah, look at that. Away super easy. Dude, that's, that's really, really good. Easy. That's good. That's good, eh? We'll clear all this area yeah. away here. And then we can. I'll get rid of some of this deadfall that's that's like rotted. And the fire oh. should radiate in there and reflect back, eh? Keep yeah. us nice and warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I think right. that's good. Let's get to work. So are we gonna look for that Y brace first or? Yeah, let's look for like a the Y support branch and then at the same time what else is around. Yeah, I'll you look for what you think is good for the Y, I'll look for some long as straight as possible. This piece will be perfect. This looks great. <laughs> A lot of rot, huh? Oh. <laughs> like butter. Who needs an axe? I don't have a shovel, so I'll start clearing this ground cover off then. All the pine needles inside uh, the bedding is a good insulator off the ground because you you never, never, never want to sleep on the ground. I, I know that because I did that in the mountains and drained all my heat energy and then ended up having to snuggle with medium. Well, there was no snuggling. That's right. So I'm, I'm using today my Becker BK-10. So if you guys are familiar, my the knife that I really, really enjoy is uh, the Becker BK-7. I've done a lot of lot of work to it. Um, this is just a shorter version of it. But I even did the same thing with this. I've rounded the clip point down because I, I don't like clip points. I, I like it rounded here. This is a nice, shorter, more manageable version of the 7. And it's sharp, super sharp, super durable. I mean, you can baton with this thing and have zero, zero worries about anything breaking. Whew. So you got to go further down and around. There's actually not too many. I found what I could in terms of, you know, something that's not total super soft. And me, you got the uh, post, yeah, post I had, done. I had to make a makeshift one. There was no like Y branches that yeah. weren't rotten. So I found this one laying here and I cut it. Used some paracord up on one of the little knots coming out. Yeah. So that's holding it up strong. Cool. Then I use this support going back for wiggle. So if you look, that's, oh, yeah. I'm yeah, really that's pushing good. on that there. So Yeah, and it's not like we're going to really have any weight on it. It no. doesn't rain a lot here. We kind of just want it from wind and, and to be able to reflect some of the heat from the yeah, fire. Right. Oh, you already got it going I started, too. I started some uh, rocks for a little pit. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good length, right? Yeah, and that's a good and solid a good one. one. Some so of them are really solid. Some of them... So if we take this one, put it in the middle, right? Yeah. As a metal support, and then maybe on that branch, that, ooh, that branch right there, we put another one that leans up against it. Oh yeah, look at that. See, so you get a now. That's a good angle for yeah. all of them there. And then we'll get some uh, some pine boughs or something like that yeah. uh, to go across and everything. Yeah. I I don't know if there's any scorpions here or not, but I'm not going to take a chance. I just kick the rock over first. If there's bugs though, I'm going to find a tin cup. And I'm going to eat them. So in searching for more sticks, I don't want to put my hand in there, but you guys can see. You can see a couple of burrows here, or maybe three burrows. I don't know what kind of animal that is. 
small, obviously. It's a super tiny dwarf bear. No, I don't know, fox, rabbit. Maybe if you guys are outdoor, you know, gophers, I don't know. I don't think tree squirrel live in the ground though. I mean, it doesn't, well, maybe I'm wrong, but the word tree squirrel, you know, so I gotta go keep searching. And you can hear I'm, <laughs> I'm out of breath. My knees, like I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is like constant slopes everywhere. You find anything, Meaty? Hey, Meaty, did you find anything? Not yet. Okay. He's trying to find some, some leafy stuff, but it's, you know, it looks like there's lots of green. It looks like there might be leafy stuff, but it's very sparse. All right, it's time to try and find some, some decent rocks for the fireplace. And of course, I got my gloves on, but for the most part, you just flip it over with your foot. You know? Not in here. You got any bugs in there? I'm looking for dinner. No ants, nothing. Look at that, eh? You see anything there? <laughs> All right, well, there's lots of rocks here. I'm gonna grab some of them. I'm surprised there's like, no bugs underneath the underneath the rocks, eh? A couple of, like black spiders over in those. Well, I don't want to eat a spider. That was dead, but it was there. Oh. oh. Yep. We're getting there. Fire time and then lunch. Lunch. Woo! I'm looking forward to it's, Can we survive favorite is food time. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of room inside here. Yeah. I mean if you look. Yeah, like if I was to go in here. Like I can get in here and there'd be plenty and of space for yeah, you. Yeah, right you can here. see you guys that, that this is the front is way out here. So if you had to, you could actually fit to easily fit two in yeah. here. No like, problem. And I'm six foot. Yeah. So that's another thing. You see people in in shows yeah. and you know, if they're like five foot or something like that, yeah. you know, you're like, oh, that looks that's really good. Plenty and of room. Like your tent. Yeah. The first tent you yeah, got. Yeah, my tent. <laughs> I got plenty of room. Well, you're five feet tall and I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's not bad. It's actually pretty camouflaged from the back as it sits right now. Um, I would imagine with a few more hours of scouring, we could really close it in with stuff, but this is a, this is a pretty good start to a nice natural shelter yeah, with beauty. with this cool tree that just bends up and around. I really like that part. It's the first lean-to I've ever made, so that's yeah. it's fun. You know, it's tiring, and on the hills, bringing this stuff back, oh my God. But you can imagine, that it's like the area that you're in. If you've got a lot of good hardwoods that yeah, may be yeah. standing deadfall, you know, yeah. that you could take, you could easily, it's a lot, be a lot easier yeah. to make a shelter like this. For sure, for sure. No joke. Oh. There you go, there you go. Fire! <laughs> Get some of the smaller stuff on here. Let Get me some. see this, the rod. Yeah. This rod here, what is it uh, called again? Ferro keep, rod? A ferro rod. So it's like magnesium and the uh, flint all in one. These things are way better than those magnesium bars. The magnesium bars, I've I've used them. I've, I've had like a, the Chinese knockoff. I've tried different ones, the original, and they're brutal to use. Yeah, they're yeah. brutal, like shaving that off. This thing just spits out fire. It's so good. If you're gonna go in camping or you wanna do survival, highly recommend. And then it's wrapped in paracord as well like if you want to use the paracord but this is yeah. a nice grip on this yeah it and it's so good. thick it doesn't break like the flint on yeah. one of those yeah, yeah. magnesium nice meaty fire oh. all right you guys well we got a little fire going we've got about a oh nice a 45 percent built um lean to yeah. shelter here may do with what we had yeah, it was our first. We, I mean, we could we could finish it. It's we had plenty of time to do it. It's just we don't want to take anything else from around here. Well, so. We also want to do other things like yeah. eat. <laughs> so <laughs> it's been it's oh. been a long time since we did you know a video. Yeah. So that means it's been a long time since we did MREs. Oh yeah. And I've got a special one today for myself. Meal ready to eat. That's what it stands for. This is actually menu twenty two, baby. Menu twenty two. Uh, also, Callie sent me this. 
she found it. So menu 22 is Asian style beef strips with vegetables. Ve vegetables. Vegetables. So 22 right there. And I'm eating the uh, menu two vegetable lasagna one. Yeah, Sorry, I, and I if like the smoke's one. if the smoke's getting in you, it's just, part of outdoors. Yeah, smoke gets in your eyes. Smoke gets, gets in, in your, your eyes. eyes. So that one, the one that he's eating is one that I actually really enjoy. I like that one a lot. The vegetable lasagna is. Oh, you don't even have to cut this. It's a peelable seal, eh? Oh really? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, but then you don't get to use your knife. Oh whatever. I keep it sharp for keep long term survival. For occasions just like this one. All right, I am excited to see what's in the old 22. Yeah, it's it's like a Christmas gift. You get to see what's in it. You get to see what your snack is. Sometimes it's horrible. Yeah. Sometimes you get like full stuff. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've actually well, done uh, MREs, huh? Yeah. Did you bring a spoon? I don't need to bring a spoon, but I did bring a spoon, <laughs> a titanium spoon. He brought a spoon. I brought a spoon, folks. I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna heat mine a little bit, I think. Yeah, just a little bit. You gotta heat it up to the max, man. Time to eat. This thing got really hot. I, uh, you've had some bad luck with some of them in the yeah, past. Yeah, yeah. Got a heli somewhere going yeah. over. Sounds like military. <laughs> How you doing there? Get out of here, smoke! Get, get, get from here, you pigs! Maybe they see the smoke coming from military. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it's supposed to be. Yeah, it smells Asian. Let me smell. Mmm. Oh, it's got what? water chestnuts. Oh, really? Yeah. <coughs> Come on, smoke. I'm trying to eat here. Mmm. Water chestnuts. So, what did I say? It was Asian style beef strips with vegetables. Yep. Here's a, oh, it's so good. Oh, menu 22. 22. You know, if it was tw wasn't. No you'd be like, well, what, it's all right. No matter what, I was going to say it was good. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh my God, it's probably the best thing ever. 22 mm. menu. It's not bad. I'm not mixing mine up. I need to eat. Mm. I don't know if I've ever had the... I like it a lot. What is, what is that? Try it. Taste it. Oh, it's pasta. Pasta. All right, let's, let's try this out. I think that one's good, too. Oh yeah, kidney beans and everything like mm -hmm. that. You know what's really good is when it's in my mustache. Saving it for later. Mmm, the flavor saver. You got like a, a little level there that you can save things on the second floor. <laughs> it also comes with rice. Where's it? What is in that? What's that? This says fried rice. Open it up. Try it out, man. Oh, uh, fried rice. <laughs> you like fried rice? If I close my eyes and eat this, I would think this is vegetarian chili. Ooh, the Tabasco sauce has got a nice bite to it. Maybe I should close my legs. You guys don't want to be looking into that. What, what the deuce? Is that yeah, no, eat it. It's good. 22, it's good, remember? Everything about it is really good. <laughs> 22! <laughs> oh. Does that look like fried rice to you? Let me try some. <laughs> Take all those pieces in there. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> what the? Put it all in. Mm, that's not, that's not is really it paste? Good. It's not even close to being rice. Mm, no. I don't really like it. Wheat snack bread. <laughs> no, you got the oatmeal. I gotta try the bread though, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, look. It's in the shape of a piece no, of that's bread. No, that, that's menu 12. That's what they use as the bread. That thing's horrible. <laughs> Wait, I know what can fix it. Ugh. I know. Oh, blackberry jam, jam, jam. <laughs> I got this, guys. I got this. Hold I need on. The serviette. Hold the phone. Oh, yeah, that rice was not good. I got this, dude. No, Ooh, dude. what the blood pack, dude? I don't know, but it's that. like a blood pack. That from looks seven like days. a leech. It looks like a leech that freshly just ate blood. It's a blood pack from seven oh. days. I was not appealing. But you know what? Mm. We haven't eaten today. Yeah, I and don't care. Is, I'm this hungry. This year is going to give me energy. I'm, yeah. I'm feel, I feel pretty hungry. Yeah. Like we need the energy from the food. Oh, for sure we do. 
a lot of hiking around. Man, it's exhausting. Uh, the, the, the altitude and it's such a hilly environment no matter where you go to collect what we made for that lean-to was draining like we slowly stripping down off of clothes yeah you, you might just... say hey that lean-to sucked but we know <laughs> <laughs> but it was hard even to get to this point because yeah. the, the we're like we're done good you know, enough lean-to you look well this isn't a how-to video people this is how, how hard is to? it yeah, <laughs> dude. Blackberry it, jam. it looked a little like liquidy, like it was. It was. Huh? Yeah. Oh, spread it easier. <laughs> Why is yours double? It's like fit? a nightmare. I'm looking at this like, remember me? I'm like, I do. Ooh. Why do you have to shape it in the shape of a piece of bread <laughs> off a loaf? Yeah, look at this. We're tricking you. Does this remind you of a nice fresh piece of it bread? It feels like home. This one is actually fresher. Yeah. Than the last one I had. <laughs> it's still not very moist, but it's fresher. It's not terrible. Put a peanut butter on it. <laughs> Holy mackerel, Drop there's the no moisture in my mouth right now, dude. I don't even... Get him a live straw. It's taking all the moisture Can out. you swallow cinnamon? I can't even swallow this. I'm sorry, I have to talk because I know it's rude. I got food in my mouth. Look at this batter in my peanut butter. It adds this. Remember when they fell together? You put your chocolate in my peanut butter. You put your peanut butter in my chocolate. Yeah, but it's it, delicious. But they didn't have your saliva in it. That makes it much better. <laughs> it's partially digested. <laughs> All right, so we walked farther down the little valley, get to the low spot, and we found what looks like to be a a dried up creek. You can see that there's like um, some if you come here and trees. Here. Definitely see like uh, look at the moisture. It's really the the, the ground is soft and wet. Almost yeah. like clay here, right? Eh? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely wet. I bet you if you dug down deep enough, you'd probably get a little bit of water coming in. Yeah, this okay. would be a good place for animals. Yeah, exactly. This is what draws animals. So this would definitely want to be going for. For animal. Uh, hey, we got something here. Yeah, we have something there that <laughs> we were rather close to. Oh, geez. Yeah, uh, I don't know what kind of den that is, uh, but that's big. You could get a bear. <laughs> could be a bear den or a mountain lion den. They could be in there right now. Yeah, I for totally forgot about the mountain lions, dude. You can't really tell from here, but it's about 24 inches from what we can see, and it goes down like that, so it's probably even a bigger opening. I don't want to go I don't want to get too to close to that. Okay. We're probably too close to it already. So we saw deer. I mean, it, we, wanted to, we wanted to see, you know, because part of the survival is what available food. We saw deer. I, I didn't think we'd, you know, we haven't seen anything all day other than birds. I barely saw any bugs. You know, no squirrels. I didn't see any squirrel. So I one just deer... zoomed out in case something comes out of there. I can catch it attacking you. <laughs> and you're carrying, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, and I'm not joking because I, I would really like that. That is definitely a den, dude. And we are probably way too close to yeah, that. Yeah, you are. Damn Canadians. Well, anyway, so... I think uh, I think from this area here, and feel free to add into it, but the the area is fine. But the lack of water, especially this time of year, yeah, we could come down here. We could dig, maybe get some dirty water, and then filter it, and then and that. And we have some acorns. I didn't see any bugs. You got to know how to hunt deer. That deer was not even afraid of us, though. No, and it was. Oh, you, we had a rifle. That deer. Seventy-five that's feet dinner. away, maybe. Yeah, if, you know, with the rifle, if we were in a true survival situation, that would have fed us for a week. Yeah. But more than a week, probably. You know what I mean, it was huge. Uh, definitely dangers, though. I mean, right now, just being there for the day or even an overnighter, that's not a risk. But being in an area of a den, especially in breeding season yeah when when they have their babies you're in any proximity of people's dens and yeah. you're in their area that's when it's dangerous so where we are and where we were technically would have been a very dangerous situation had this been in spring or something yeah but, for sure uh, 
I don't know. I think I had a blast, but what I learned is it's exhausting. It's exhausting. With just, the, this terrain. The this terrain, terrain the yeah. terrain where we're in, you know, everything is, is dead, great for burning, but hard to build things, hard to find food. Like, unless you had a gun, I don't know. But yeah, and we're hunting that, for it, right? I think, uh, I think we're ready to get out of here, though. Yes, sir. It was a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, you want to see some exclusive behind-the-scenes footage, it's exclusively available to our patrons. That link is in the description below. But don't worry about it if you can't. You know, no worries. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>